Hey guys, it's uh, Andre here, and um, very funny how uh, we have so much technology available nowadays, and we don't always take advantage of it. And uh, as we begin to work, we get our network of people that have experiences in different fields, and uh, you know it's important to reach out to them and to try to make your life as simple as possible. You know the concept of simplicity is very powerful. Uh, you know, a lot of people like to have a minimalist lifestyle and it's uh, pretty effective for them, right? So it's, uh, today I, it's, uh, I'm going to have a different video. And uh, one of my friends, he works at a company where he has to log his time in and talking with him, it's pretty tedious and like, so he might forget to do it. So I offered my help to actually write a script on Windows that is going to do that for him. So I'm going to show you guys the process. It's going to be pretty quick and simple. Little batch script because mm -hmm. I'm not sure mm -hmm. what uh, software he's got installed on his computer. And uh, yeah, let's check it out. Let's see how it goes. Hopefully, uh, if you're new to scripting, you can learn something. And uh, uh, I might also write a little bit about this on my blog. So make sure to check it out. OK, guys, so let's uh, start recording. And uh, let's get to it. So first, we're going to make the uh, timesheet script. Uh, so we don't want uh, we don't want it to be in the command. So we're going to put echo off, and this script will open the website set in the. website. So I don't actually know my friend's uh, timesheet website. So we'll just uh, we'll make it to my website. My blog website. If you guys want to check it out, it's here. Um, and then uh, we're just going to use the default browser, default browser to open the input URL. So this is the line he's going to edit. Line 5. He's just going to change this to the website that he wants. And we'll just start default browser website. And let's test it out. I saved it to the desktop. It's in Spanish, but this is the correct path. Uh, time sheet script. But that, boom, opens up my thing here. We'll close it for now. Okay, so uh, this one's pretty much done. Let's move on to the other one. This is actually what's going to run everything. Um, this will. Sorry, I think my mouse, my keyboard is super loud. Um, to run every Thursday. Uh, we need to get the. Um, Going to save set uh, script to run. I oh, get script path equals. Oh, we're gonna need our current directory, and then our script to run. So we need to actually get our current directory. Oh, I know it's uh, it's like uh, zero will give me the so this will give me the path to the file, but I only want the directory. No, it's DP. I'm pretty sure. Let's see. Let's test it out real quick. Okay, oh, oh okay, yeah, I'm missing uh, this. Let's uh, run it again. Time to run it back. Yep, see users, that's a path to my desktop. So my computer's in Spanish, Um. Greeting, task, to run. 
there and then ideally you want to check for errors and stuff but I am pretty confident this group will work okay so now uh, we're going to uh, use the uh, command to create a task and to create a new task uh, we want this to run weekly our task name is going to be uh, timesheet opener and then our task uh, tr that's a flag for the uh, script we want to run it's going to be the full path so it's going to be this right plus the current directory so it's script path um, and then we want this to start on a Thursday and uh, yeah that's pretty much it you can look look up the uh, documentation for the task uh, scheduler and see the different events uh, but yeah let's test it out once it's going to say success created a task and let's just check it uh, task scheduler uh, come to local refresh the list and then go to timesheet opener it's set to run uh, next Thursday so the 7th at uh, 1 so it's gonna so my friend has to edit the website and run it and from that time that he uh, runs it it's gonna run every week and then boom that's it and uh, hopefully you learn something you can create tasks for things that you can automate things you do every day pretty simple and yeah keep uh, coding guys